good. He does sound good. Yeah. Hey, look who I'm sitting here with. Big stars. Look at this. Hey, look hey. at this. Uh, hey, hey. 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 Right. Big stars. You know, a lot of people say, hey, Howard can't get the big guests. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, we had uh, Donald Trump, certainly a big guest. You should see the list of women this guy had. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about supermodels. Talk about supermodels. Puts you to shame, Richie. But you, you've can had them all. Claudia Schiffer. Yeah, let me tell you, you had Claudia Schiffer? No, I He didn't. can have her. You could have her. Did she come on uh, to you? Yes. No, I'm... Is that true? Absolutely. John, you're saying that Richie, your guitar player, uh, could have had Claudia Schiffer. Without a doubt. How could he have had her? He was going to take her to the Academy Awards and blew her off. Really? Why did you blow her off? No, actually, it blew was a miscommunication. Off. Why? What happened? Claudia Schiffer, I would go for it. That's, that's not, real nice. She's a very beautiful woman. She is very beautiful. So yeah. you, you are in such a... What was it? Because you were with Cher at the time, you couldn't go with Claudia Schiffer. No, actually, I wasn't, actually. See, everybody expects... This is John Bon Jovi, of course. They don't recognize you, John, because you cut off all your hair. For God's sake. Hey, you cut off your hair. Well, they seem to recognize you. Richie, they recognize you, of course. You have the long hairstyle, much like myself. Long hairstyle. <laughs> And uh, we both look like uh, like a princess, like 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 a prince. And you did. You are looking well. These days. I do I look must good. Admit, I, yes, I'm in very good shape. I really am. <laughs> but uh, really, what's funny about it is Richie. I always pictured Richie to get married and John to be the one with Claudia Schiffer because John is the higher profile guy. Mm -hmm. True, uh, yeah. right? We always uh, pictured you with Claudia Schiffer, the models, and yet you married your high school sweetheart, Dorothea. Correct. Dorothea, that's right. I have pictures. Let, hey, let's do this. Let's take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> Here is a picture of John's high school sweetheart who we married, John Bon Jovi. Dorothea, where is that? Let me see that. She is nice. Her. Look at that. Ooh, I could oh. do something to her. <laughs> Let me take a good look at that. <laughs> wow. Now, you are actually walking into a uh, party for President Bush. That's right. It's now, I don't, president. I don't picture you, John, with President Bush. How did that happen? It was definitely someone's mistake, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, were you a Bush supporter? No, I got invited to this how'd party. How'd you get in there? Out in Malibu. No, how'd you get in there? Yeah. Well, they didn't let me go. They didn't I wasn't let me talking go. about the party. I was talking about Cher, buddy. All right, we'll get there in a second. All okay, right. easy. All right, now. Yeah, okay. when I met the president. It's you, pretty hip. You met the president yeah. and... Uh, went to this guy's house. You went to his house. Yeah. Well, uh, let me tell his you His daughter was a fan. Uh, the daughter was a fan? Yeah. Uh, Bush's daughter? Nice looking on a scale of one to ten, or was no, she? No, no, no. The daughter of the host of the party was a fan of mine. Oh, I see. And invited me to the party. No need to brag here on the Howard Stern interview. <laughs> Look at that. Always bragging, these guys. Now we're going to get into everything here because this is an exciting story. I knew these guys. They were, uh, they were. You guys were down and out. You were just signed with a record company. That quarter. I supported you early on, true, that's why you're here on the true, show, true. Uh, when you guys were playing high schools and stuff, right? right? I came along and uh, promoted but you that guys. that was our third album. That was your third album, mm -hmm. so I didn't come along right at the beginning. No, but, but you definitely, I was definitely there in the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an exciting story because mm -hmm. here are two guys who are living the life that all of you want to live. <laughs> they are worth, conservatively, take a good guess. I'll say they earned, uh, as a band, over a hundred million dollars. Correct? Correct? Be honest. Yeah. hundred million dollars. Wow. No trouble saying a hundred million. Look at that, you son of a gun. <laughs> Look at that, huh? That's got to stop you dead. It, 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 it takes your breath away when you think about a hundred million dollars. That is beautiful. And then you got to split it up with the other guys. Although, here's something you don't know. John and Richie take the mother load of the money. The other three guys are interchangeable. <laughs> true or false? It is no, true. No, that's true. You do not, not need true. the other three guys. No, While they are... no. Dave wanted to be here real that's bad. Right. Uh, Dave, Dave wanted, wanted to be Dave Rashbaum? Yes. yes. Is he yes. Yes. He told me to say hi. Yes. Tell you yeah. some Somalian jokes, which I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, the keyboard player and the drummer and the other guy are all expendable. These you don't are the even two. know an instrument. The other you, guy, nice. You guys, <laughs> the bass player, you guys write all the songs to do most of the work and you take a major cut of the money in the publishing true true or false well songwriters do that songwriters do that in other words oh what is this a picture of oh there's all the guys 1980s wow. wow look at that we and we can see and, and we wow. see who the two uh, cute guys are right there <laughs> the other three guys uh, have to work on their look a little bit right john true you made the other guys get liposuction true no not true john, that's the an old story inquiry. wasn't that true you was don't that... believe the inquiry no you demand that Come your band on. looks good part of your success no, is that women true. find you attractive no, men that... even find you attractive no, i find true. you attractive <laughs> cute guys uh, the part of your success is looking good, and the other two guys had gotten a little flabby. Not true. And uh, David needed hair extensions. True not or false? True. No, not false. true. You never forced the guys to lose no, weight. No. You didn't. No. That's very nice. That's exciting. <laughs> so you make a hundred million dollars. John marries his high school sweetheart. Let's take a little picture of Dorothea before we get to the share stuff. Oh, there we are. Now, John, I like the long hair. Look. There's my brother. There's my grandmother. Where's your brother? There's my grandmother. That's your grandma. I thought that was Mrs. Bush. Oh, that's my that grandma. is your grandmother. That's a good-looking couple, huh? Yeah, yeah that is a nice-looking couple. There's my dad. Couple. 
That's a good looking There's my brother. My brother. But don't you miss uh, the variety of women that you had before you married Dorothea? Did you get it all out of your system, John? No. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. I'm like you, man. We're old married men. Yeah, and you miss the variety of women, don't you? Occasionally, you wonder why you got married. True? No. Be honest. No. I'm over that. Why did you cut the hair? I like the long hair. So old. You're a good-looking guy. Don't get Out me wrong. I mean, but I like the long hair, dude. Like, much like what I wear. See? And uh, you guys have gotten more tattoos since I last saw you? Uh -huh. The same ones? John, I, John has a Superman tattoo. I, uh, I told John not to get that one. I, of course, much like him, got my own tattoo. I have the F for <laughs> Fartman. That is my superhero, F for Fartman. There you go. Now, uh, John, of course, you have Dorothea, but Richie hit the mother load with the girls. What I want to do is take a little short break. We're going to talk to you guys about what it's like to have 80 to 100 million dollars. We're going to talk about the fact that uh, Richie really slept with uh, one of America's greatest prizes, Cher. We will... Uh, Cleopatra. Maybe we'll have Richie play a little accordion. Do you not play the accordion? Yeah. I guess. I have an accordion here today. Maybe I'll do one of your hits on the accordion. <laughs> that would be very nice. John will not be singing tonight. Is that true, John? Okay. Because you're I not, like that. You're not feeling good. Is I'm that not correct? Feeling really Why are you not feeling good? Your life is perfect, and yet you seem depressed. I'm not complaining. You seem down. <laughs> Why are you working. down? I'm Why are you down? as hard as you. No, but you're down, aren't you? No, I'm you don't seem cold. happy. I'm you don't have a cold. Do you really have a bad really cold? Do you. you do have a bad cold. Yeah, the cold is psychosomatic, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Exercise. And I will tell you why. Exercise the cold from me. Yeah. We'll be back right after these words on the Howard Stern interview with Bon Jovi. <laughs> Well, it's my rock and roll jacket because uh, I'm here with rock stars. We have all facets of the, of the entertainment industry here. And here we are with Richie Sambora, of course, and uh, John Bon Jovi of the group Bon Jovi. Yeah. And uh, let's face it, you've made a lot of money. You're successful guys, and that's why you uh, are allowed to sit on this couch. I Only the that, creme man. de la creme of show business. Richie, let's come clean. You know, every time I interview you about uh, Cher and the various women, you've had some really good women, some prizes. Um, because it's easy for you to get women. First of all, you're rich and you're young. Now that's, you know, most of these women have to go after these old farts who are uh, really, they're wealthy guys. The models go after the old guys, but to get a young guy like yourself is exciting for these women. And uh, you've had them all. You had uh, Ali Sheedy, am I right, John? True. You saw him with Ali Sheedy, right? Absolutely. You see all this. And you had Cher. In fact, the two of you wrote a song for Cher, We All Sleep Alone, which is uh, actually not true because you were sleeping with her. Is that correct? <laughs> right. And uh, oh, there she is. Look at that. Look at this. She looks wonderful. She looks great there. Does she look that good in person, or is that because it's video? No, no, she no, looks that good in person. person. She really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. What a body on her. And yet, you really don't need her because you have your own money. And it's great to say, I had her. It is great to say, it's great, but yet you don't need to really be married to her because she would have married you, true? Um, possibly. It just was, we were just too far away from each other, you know. I was always on one end of the world and she was on, I'm still very you don't. You don't need to marry. Let's face it, it's got to be a thrill when you're there, you finally close the deal and you're in bed with Cher. Now, now be honest with me. <laughs> you're in bed with Cher. Hey, it was a surprise to me, I got to tell you. I'm a humble guy. I found myself there like, hey, this is pretty cool. How do you meet a girl like this? Seriously. Well, no, we met when we were working together. Yeah. Well, beca because... Uh, we, be, we were friends for years before we got romantically involved. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, she went to sleep with you until you got very famous. No, no, no. Well, I was already famous. So you were already famous. Back. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, she, had, she had to get that litmus test back. And then, uh, Did she have you tested for uh, AIDS and stuff like that before you slept with her? Uh, no. It was, was, it wasn't was she nervous? Because you slept with a lot of women. She did have... She did? She did? She no, did have a I don't know. You don't know? You no. should be doing all this stuff. It's terrible, isn't it? Dorothea doesn't let you date? No. No. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to swing or do anything Can like that. Can you believe that? You're what not allowed. Rude. To, you're it's not allowed. The 90s. To. No. And yet, I think if you did cheat on her, she would forgive you because she would not want to lose you. Because how many girls can get a good-looking guy like this who is wealthy? I think that, this, that the, everyone knows that she's a karate champion. It would kill me. She is a black belt in karate. Is that correct? Brown belt. In oh, she's a brown belt. In fourth in the nation. A fourth. Fourth what in the nation? Fourth in her division in the United States of America. Dorothea. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And will you have children with her? Yeah. Oh, you will? Yeah. When is that going to happen? Soon. Very soon. Is she pregnant, in fact? Yes, she is pregnant. Isn't that something? Well, there's an excuse. John, broke the news on that. John, now, uh, now, uh, what, now, now, when did this happen? I mean, how, when is the baby due? 
May. Hey, how would you like to, uh, May, how would you like to have John Bon Jovi as your father? Huh? Would that be great? With all that money, you will leave the mother load to this child? <laughs> this is going to be unbelievable. Says who? That's, oh, yes, it's true. <laughs> no, I got to figure. I'm going to get an apartment down the street. I'm going to drop him off there so that he stays humbled and, you know, works hard for his money. And then I'll keep driving until I'm going to my house, third job every week. You, and I'll go to my nice house and leave him in the apartment. But you recently bought a house for $2 million. Which I was surprised. That's not that much money for a guy no, with like maybe fifty little, million dollars. A little beach house. That is not a lot of money. That's not a big house. Why is that? What do you do? Do you save your money? You put it in CDs? It's do you put it in my, stock? It's underneath the sheets. Who I handles know. the money? Seriously, who would who would know about that? Richie can't possibly handle his own money, can he? <laughs> no. Between us, we're we're crippled. Who will handle the money? <laughs> who handles the money? Somebody wake up and to answer me. Sure, the accountants. The yeah. accountants. You have accountants. And what do they invest in? Do they invest in stock? Do they invest in CDs? No, uh, I tell it, them I won't buy a newspaper. You won't buy any. What, what do you buy? Seriously, what do you do? Nothing. You save it. You just save it. You put it in a bank and you just collect interest. Very concerned. And you don't really have to work anymore. No. And John, though, you are taking on more and more work. You are managing the band. Well, why do you need that headache? I don't need to say. Why are you doing <laughs> that? Why are you managing your own band? Because I don't have a manager. All right, never mind that. Let's get back. See? <laughs> Let's get back to Richie's sex life. That's much because more interesting. Everybody, you are interested in Richie's sex life, true? Does Richie uh, brag to you about it? No, I can uh, get on him. I say, I can't believe I want to be him sometimes. I can't believe You do want to be him because it's a lot of fun. Let's let's go to Cher. Let's concentrate on Cher and then we'll work our way backwards. There's other good okay. stuff. You're missing. You meet Cher, you are friends. Who else has he had, by the oh, way? Oh, much better. Who? Who is better than Cher? Not movie oh, star easy. stuff. What, models? Yeah. Playboy bunnies. Absolutely. B by the way, John, can I bring this up? Your mother was a Playboy bunny. Yes, Am I was. correct? True. Isn't that something? Wow. Yeah. When you were growing up, did you see your mother nude in the house? No. You never did? No. You never saw your mother naked? No. That's impossible. True. I have seen my mother naked. I'm That's sorry. Some type. That's Whatever. why you are the way you are. It's changed you forever. It was, it was very <laughs> traumatic. As a yeah. matter of fact, I saw my mother. I was around five years old. She came out of the shower. Oh. She had, uh, she was, uh, Let's say she was the opposite of a Playboy bunny. Yeah, okay. Let us be, let us be uh, honest with that. She was absolutely the opposite of that. She walked out. She was wearing giant underpants. The underpants yeah. came up to un underneath her yeah, actual right. breasts. They came up. The and underpants. your father and mother still married. But didn't you have strange feelings that your mother was this? Your friends would come over the house and see this beautiful Playboy bunny. Richie would come over, probably hit on your mother, right? <laughs> I mean, she's a very beautiful woman. No, it, that never happened. And your father was a hairdresser? Yeah. Responsible for the Bon Jovi hairstyle, That's am I correct? True. That is correct. That is now, true. let me do this. I have to take a break. I will come back with Bon Jovi. We are really going to delve into Richie and Cher. <laughs> We're going to really find out how a guy scores with Cher, how she is in bed, what she does, what it's like when you see Cher naked for the first time. Is it a disappointment because you built up your expectations? Uh, we're going to hear a little accordion music. No, I can't play anymore. No, I forgot. Sure you can. No, I'll give you I a guitar. Seven. Would you strum on a guitar sure. a little? I know John can't sing, but sure, I'll, I'll sing with you. Yeah, I don't sure. care. I'll, I'll sing one of your hits. It's no problem. Yeah, when we come back, we're really going to get into the Cher stuff because that's what everyone's here Absolutely. for. Absolutely. We'll okay. be back right after this. with Bon Jovi, Richie Sambora and John Bon Jovi. They got the guitars. Let me hear something. Play something. What is that? What song is that? I'm playing it. You're jamming. You're jamming. I get to be out of tune. James Brown got to play. You know, uh, you know what this song makes me think of? This song makes me think of having sex with Cher, actually. That's what I want to talk about. That's what I like. Yeah, come on, do it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I like that. Very nice. All right, put those guitars down. Okay. There we go. You guys relax. I'll throw it right down here on the floor. Now, let's get back to it. This is the exciting part of the interview. Here they are, Bon Jovi. They, uh, they've hit it big time. They hit the mother load when it came to money. John is married, but Richie's single, and Richie really is the best interview. No offense, John. Absolutely. But this guy's had sexual experiences. So let's get back to it. You meet Cher. Now, come on. Get into it. Don't be inhibited about it. What would you I know like? you don't like to talk about this stuff. You're uh, trying to play it humble, but it is exciting for the rest of us people out here. Cher's a big name. And you know what? It's not that Cher's that great looking. It's the idea that it's Cher. But do you think about Sonny when you're having sex with him? <laughs> really? Oh, sure. Sonny comes right through my brain. No, but you know, you know not helps. only is it Sonny, but it's also the, the uh, guy you were competing with at the time, the bagel guy, no, the bagel boy. No, no, there was no competition. No, the, the, the Cher is going to marry the bagel guy, right? There's a guy who makes bagels. 
You don't like him? He, no. You like him? Bob is fine. He's a good guy. It's a whole love triangle, isn't it, John? I like it. It really is. Do you You're understand, everyone? Hey, let it's me, a good story. Let me explain to everybody at home what's going on. <laughs> I love Richie triangle. was in love with shit. Were you in love with her? <laughs> you were in love. Sure. We but were. you didn't want to marry her. Uh, it just wasn't right at the time. All right, it wasn't right at the time. So he's in love, so Cher wants to make him jealous, so she takes off with this young mm -hmm. stud, young bagel guy, a bagel maker, who actually she's probably more comfortable with because he is totally indebted to Cher. Because he, she, don't, he don't have any money of his own. Am I right, John? I don't know him. You guys never talk about this? I don't know him. You don't know I the don't bagel know guy? I don't know the guy at all. But, I mean, Richie's talked to you about it, no. right? Do you and Richie get together at the house? Sure. You do get together. Sure. When you write music, because you guys had a falling out for a while. True? True or false? True. Be honest. No. John put out a solo, solo album, album. And you were going to go solo for I a while. Was not. Yes, it was. And Richie threatened you. He put out his own solo album <laughs> to counteract your solo album. True? True. But and, not, there was no. No, it was out. always a plan. That, no, I scored a movie. But you guys, uh, yeah, but you were upset when he scored the movie. True? You felt no. that you guys should have stayed together. No, you, were no. a little, you were a little anxious. No, no, no. no, no, no. Here's oh, the story. Come on, come on, come on. Let me give you the story. Give me the story. I'll give you the story. Boring. I wanted to do a solo record, and people were asking me, uh, a lot of labels were asking me for a long time to do it. Yeah. And I put it off until at the end of our tour, and I told the guys that I was going to do it. And while I was doing that, John got the movie off, and that's what went down. I don't, I don't believe that's true. That's I believe true. what happened is that John, when he threatened to leave, when he, everyone got a little nervous because, let's face it, the lead singer is always the franchise. Am I correct? Absolutely. But I think you guys need each other as a writing team, as a music writing team. So you should feel secure. The other three guys in the band shouldn't feel secure because you guys can dump them. Am I right? Am I true? All right, let's get back to Cher. Okay. Now, now, when we talk about Cher... He's off the hook now. You know, I like you. You meet Cher, Richie, and that's exciting. All right? Okay. You meet her and you have an attraction to her. Absolutely. You have an attraction perhaps because you grew up watching her on TV. Absolutely. It would also be exciting to tell your family that you're seeing Cher. I could, you know, I got to tell you, I couldn't believe it. You couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that she liked me. <laughs> and then she liked you. And how did she let off the signal? Was she very direct with you? She was forward with you? No, I, I, I kind of was hearing it from uh, mutual acquaintances, and I, I didn't believe any of it. And you didn't believe any of it. No, and you asked her out on a date. Yes, I did. And where did you go on that date? Uh, I was playing Giant Stadium, and I asked her to come and see me in Giant Stadium. You asked her to come right, and right for the see... big gun. Now tell me, now tell <laughs> me something. Stadium. Is that not the best way to pick up a woman? That was it. There you go. You, when she sees you at Giant Stadium and all your fans and all that. Ah, we were already friends for two years. So all right. No now listen. Deal. You guys that have a new, good, guys have a new album out. Good. Nobody cares about the album right now because we're talking about Cher. We'll yeah. get to the album. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a break. When we come back, the bedroom. When we get, to, when we get into the bedroom, when we get back, right? Everyone wants to hear about it. I want when we get back, right after these words. Bon Jovi album is out. I'm sitting here with Bon Jovi. They're out promoting your record. Uh, you, uh, the name of the new album is? Keep the Faith. Keep the Faith. It is out right now in the stores. And uh, Keep the Faith is an album about Cher. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, you know who I bet is Wild in Bed? Uh, wild in Bed would be, number one, uh, Ali Sheedy. Is that true? Ali Sheedy is Wild in Bed. Yes. No? No. That's a no. John, does that take you by surprise? Romantic. Yeah. Right. romantic. Okay, here we go. Very romantic. Very nice. Uh, but both of you were messed up at the time that you were together. True? I read that. That's true. You were both into drugs. Uh, not into drugs. I was just having a problem uh, coping with uh, the success. Of coping with success. What success? I would be... I have no problem. If I could have success, I'm talking about the kind of success these guys are having, where I could stand up there and play some instruments and have some fun, I would have no problem coping with that success. If I was sleeping with Ali Sheedy, I'd have no problem coping with that either. <laughs> That's just me. I don't know why you guys have so many problems. I know John is nervous because uh, as we're taping this, you are about to do a Saturday Night Live, and uh, all of a sudden your voice is tightening up, you're nervous, you're getting a cold. It is all psychosomatic, my friend. Let me tell you something about these guys. These guys who are lead singers. Uh, John knows this. Guys who are lead singers, they have a problem. As soon as a, a, an important uh, date is coming up, an important concert, all of a sudden they can't sing, they have a cold. That's the problem. Am I right? Is it a, Richie, is it a pattern with them? Is it a pattern? It's not a pattern, but it does happen sometimes. It, it does. does happen to me Because sometimes. you're nervous, you're out promoting a new album, but this is new material. It's because we were in Vegas working on a video. No, 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 no. It was because you have new material, <laughs> and it's, uh, you, have, um, you have 25 million people possibly watching this, mm. and uh, you are uptight about it. Lead singers, Talk to me, Dr. Stern. It is called Lead Singer's Disease. Am I LS, right? LSD. 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 Lead Singer's Disease. Lead Singer's Disease. Because you're nervous. You have all the pressure on you in the band. Richie oh. stands up there. Listen to this. This guy here with Cher. He stands there and plays the guitar, and if his voice hurts, it doesn't make a difference. He can go out all night and party and play guitar. John's problem is uh, that he cannot go out all night. You true. don't have the fun that these guys have. Can you believe that? Do you resent them for it? No. Do you ever uh, go out and party with them? 
Yeah. You do. And then you're yeah. nervous about your voice the no, next then morning, I get am I correct? Sick. Yeah. All right, come on, let's get to the share stuff. We're running Good. out of time. Quick, sit up. Now, get peppy, and I want you to answer these questions, <laughs> and I want you to answer them all. Richie, you uh, meet Cher. You let, let's get to it. How long, between the time that you meet Cher, how long does it take you to get her in bed? Good question. Come on. For 10 um, points. For 10 points. I was thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking honestly now. I'm thinking honestly. I mean, we knew each That's other. That's not something you forget. For two hours, we knew each other for two hours. Really? Two hours and no. you slept together. No, 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 no. So how long did it take? Like That's it. That's how long. Come on, everybody. I do. I deserve a hand for that. I believe that. No, I go with that. That's pretty good. Ten points. I was with a couple of months. A couple of months. And the first time you're with her, are, are you are you able to please a woman like Cher? Because yes. isn't there pressure to perform? No, I know insulting. <laughs> But isn't it hard to please a woman like Cher? Because a woman like Cher is a uh, national figure, and you don't want her to be—you don't want to be embarrassed. You a woman is a woman. And you were able to hold that. A woman is a woman. Very good. Now, now I, I saw the muscles flexing on that one. Now boy. let me tell you something. I think there is a certain sexual uh, pressure to be with a Cher. Uh, I think that Richie's not being totally honest here. I think that when you sleep with a share, what happens is right away performance comes into it. You want to make sure that you perform well because she has been with other guys, right? So I'm not afraid of other guys. <laughs> and what did Cher wear on that day? Quickly, much. what did Cher wear on that day? No, I really don't remember. She has very nice clothes. On. Very she nice always clothes. looks excellent. She always, always. looked good. And then did she wear uh, peignoirs and teddies and uh, lingerie for you? Absolutely. She did. She wore lingerie. Of course. She did. And that excited you? Of course. And the most amount of times you made love to her in one night was? Oh, I don't remember. You do not remember. Many right. times. Later. Many times. Okay. Many. Well, there it is. I'm there a stud house. And uh, there it is. A peek into the lifestyle of rock stars. Go out and buy the new album by Bon Jovi. Keep the faith. Too. Buy two albums, and uh, we'll see you the next time on the Howard Stern interview. Thanks, guys. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs>